Plymouth Argyle arrived at Saltergate with a mission to achieve what Premiership Nottingham Forest couldn't. Chesterfield's FA Cup exploits this season have put them just two games away from Wembley, and it looked as if they'd get the chance to improve their promotion chances as well, when Argyle were reduced to 10 men after just 35 minutes. Ronnie Moget claimed he went for the ball in this two-footed lunge at Chris Beaumont. Referee Richard Poulain saw it differently, and Moget was off. That was the major talking point of the first half, but the game really exploded into life after the break, when football took over for a brief spell. Argyle took the lead on 63 minutes, when Mickey Evans showed strength, determination and skill to beat Billy Mercer. The way Evans battled to create the chance for himself, well, that just epitomised Argyle's commitment to their task. Their efforts to cover for the missing Moje brought further reward nine minutes later. Chris Billy and Carlo Corazin combined effectively on the right of Chesterfield's penalty area, and when the ball eventually came in, it fell to Mark Saunders, his first-time shot deflecting off a defender and past the luckless Mercer. It was no more than Argyle deserved for rallying so positively to the new manager's call for the players to stand up and be counted. Chesterfield don't lose many games at home and they had no intention of letting this one go without a fight. They put Argyle's hard-working defence under a fair bit of pressure in the closing stages, but the back four managed to hold firm until five minutes from time, spurred on by the usual fanatical support from the Green and White Army. The goal that turned out to be nothing more than a consolation for the home side came from Jonathan Howard, with a shot that had Bruce Grobelar well beaten. For once, Argyle's marking from the long throw was rather suspect, and Chesterfield took the chance to set up a dramatic finale. Nobody could have imagined the dreadful scenes that were to follow. The tension that had been bubbling under throughout the game finally boiled over into an ugly brawl involving almost every player on the pitch, and both clubs could now face an FA inquiry into the conduct of their players, with Chesterfield also likely to come under scrutiny after fans invaded the pitch. Dismissals for Darren Carr and Kevin Davis means they'll miss Chesterfield's FA Cup quarter-final against Wrexham. Argyle's Tony James and Richard Logan were also sent off, making it the first time in league history that five players have been given their marching orders in one game. The incident at the end has gone a more, which was a great performance by Plymouth Argyle. I'm not complaining about sending off, I'm not complaining about referees, I'm not a whinger, um, I refuse to discuss referees. I think the referee had a very difficult game to handle today, and I, and I believe he's done a good job under the circumstances. The incident started with a foul on Grobelar, who was obviously concussed. That's what created the problem. And, but there was an awful lot of passion out there, and maybe, maybe, and I've got to be careful here, I might have wound the players up a little bit too much. Um, there was a lot of confrontations out there, a hard game for the referee, I've suggested. But, you know, if, if I've got to go into football matches, and we're not going to compete, we ain't going to win anything. And we competed well today, and we, we have beaten a good side. Well, quite amazing scenes at Saltergate, and Argyle now facing major problems with suspensions. But that result has eased their relegation problems. They're now seven points clear of the drop zone.